all right all right all right all right welcome back to my channel today it's another curse and tactics did say i was going to be trying more things as you can see went from div 5 to div 4 I'm gonna show you what i used to do that and it's pretty surprising actually because a lot of you won't even may not even want to try it because it's it's very different that let me just put it that way uh, i think it's also better if i just show you which one is it mm, yeah it's this one uh, yeah just from this see what's the outlier uh, it's not the balance it's not the 50 it's not the 55 not that not that yeah it's the 15 width in offensive play yeah you're going completely against the meta which is you know just wing play and everything and this just focuses a lot on having your whole front three basically just narrow as fuck because yeah it's even so difficult to describe it uh, but you'll see in the gameplay it's actually surprisingly fun and effective i can't even i don't even know how to like speak about it because it's, it's just it just goes against everything that this game is which is wing play uh, cut inside, pass in the box, tap-ins. It just goes against all of that and you'll see in the gameplay, like I don't even think I scored that many cut-ins. Uh, but yeah, you'll see. But yeah, as I said, it's balanced defensive width, 50, no, balanced defensive style, 50 width, 55 depth, balanced build-up play, chance creation is direct passing and 15 width in offensive play. Plays in the box, that is two, four, six. Corners and free kicks is up to you. And yes, this is how I was lining up. Uh, okay, this is new because I just got Casemiro like now. Uh, but yeah, this is how it is. It's a holding, 4-3-3 holding, the 4-3-3-2. So yeah, how does it go? So yeah, so you have your CDM. And then you'll have one more defensive playmaking type of midfielder and one more attacking type of midfielder. And that's basically like the main focus of this formation is the midfield. And because they're going to be responsible for getting the ball into the front three. And when you see the instructions, it's quite surprising as well because it's come back on defense for your wingers. Get cut inside, get in behind and get into the box. So it's quite a lot, but it does work. Uh, your striker is on stay central, get in behind. As I said, you're just bombarding their defense, you're just getting in there, trying to get in behind, trying not to do cut-ins and all that stupid shit. And yeah, right wing as well as come back on defense, cut inside, get in behind and get into the box of crosses. And your midfielders. So your more attacking ones on get forward, cover wing. Your more defensive one is to stay back, cover center, stay on edge of the box. Your CDM is on stay back while attacking and cover center and aggressive interceptions. Then your fullbacks on stay back and overlap. And I can say that they do work. Uh, it's more if you wanna just try something that's against what everyone else is doing. As I said, which is wing play, cut inside into the box, tap ins. But yeah, look. It's up to you if you want to do it, do it. If you don't want to, I'm not going to judge you, but I'm definitely going to judge you. Um, I'm joking. But yeah, just give it a try. Let me know what you think. And yeah, that's the craziest tactics I've ever done so far. What the fuck is that called? There's no way, what is this bullshit?
Get wrecked. Yeah, give that a try. Let me know how it goes in the comments. Again, if you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful anyway, like, subscribe. My voice is going, Jesus fuck. <clears throat> but yeah, like, subscribe. Really appreciate it. And yeah, these are the craziest custom tactics I've done so far.